Huh. Hey guys, Dane here. Uh, you know, I just did a neck crack repair uh, on a dot, Epi dot, not too long ago. Uh, and I uh, just got this one in the shop. This is a uh, Greg Bennett design. It's made by Samick. Uh, so Samick, I don't know the exact numbers, but they're an Indonesian company and they may have, you know, factories elsewhere. They make probably just about everybody's guitars that, uh, they make a lot of guitars for a lot of different people with a lot of different brand names on them. Uh, you will find Samick uh, branded guitars as well. This uh, this is a fairly decent looking acoustic. I uh, don't know. I haven't really spent much time looking at it. It appears to be laminated at least around the sound hole because there's an extra layer or something down there. Uh, and the sides and the back are obviously different materials than the side and the back on the inside. So this is a veneer or lamination. Oops, sorry, looking at my bald head doesn't do you any good. Uh, so. I uh, I just, you know, brought the thing out to the shop. It's been in the house for a few weeks. Uh, the, um, the neck, uh, the tuners were like falling off loose. I, I just don't understand. People don't notice that. But anyway, um, so tighten those up. They weren't, the screws weren't stripped, which is a plus. And then just tighten the bushings up so everything there is solid again. This crack. You can see, I don't know if you can see it in the camera, I'll try to find an angle that works. Maybe not. The uh, scarf joint, yeah, you can kind of see that little dark line. That's the actual scarf joint. So it, it didn't break on the scarf joint. I don't know how it broke or why it broke. Uh, so I think somebody might have stepped on it. It kind of has that appearance. Um, it's broken in two directions, actually. It's broken down at the same angle as the scarf joint, although it's well above well, we're above that joint happens, so ahead of it, so it's not that joint didn't open up, and then the uh, and there's also a crack going back that way. So you got cracks going that way, and then some cracks going back that way. They go all the way down to where the fretboard connects. So the fretboard, in essence, uh, stayed connected and kept everything else together. So um, I don't have bunches of time on this card, and like I said, since you just saw a neck repair on on another one. I'll kind of reset up and just do a real quick uh, explanation of what I'm going to do. Um, well, I'll do the explanation now and then set up for it. So I'm going to open the crack up. I'm going to just spritz it with water and uh, let the water wick into all the different directions that crack is going. And then I'm going to uh, uh, super thin, water thin, uh, super glue or CA uh, into that, that crack. And I'm just going to put a, a squeezy clamp on it. <clears throat> one of these. Uh, I think in one spot, I kind of like when I put the squeezy clamp in the one spot, it uh, it does not, uh, you know, I can't force the crack open again when I push on it. It's easy to open up without the clamp. Once I put the clamp on it, it holds it right there. So that's probably all I'm going to do to the thing. Uh, it's got one little area that feels a little high. Um, once it's clamped, uh, everything lines up pretty good. Probably just uh, do a little, uh, there again, a CA touch-up as far as the finish is concerned. Um, I'm not going to do a lot to this finish. This, this is a kind of a throwaway guitar. It was pretty much just thrown at me and said, here, do something with it. So um, uh, I'm not going to try to really disguise this repair. Uh, I'm just going to smooth it out so you can't feel it when you're playing it. Uh, I think it's going to be a a great little guitar once that's uh, that's glued back together and I think also the super glue is going to be a great fix for it so um, bring you back all right we're rolling again here so I got my spray bottle uh, you know I just noticed my shoot okay hold on all right we're back I had uh, I had my guitar clamped down here on top of the saw table and had part of the the uh, table exposed and I don't like to hose that down so I uh, moved it back. I got it clamped on the other end so I can push down on it with one hand and still operate the spray bottle. Uh, so here we go, I'm opening this up 
just shooting some water on that. Uh, I'm gonna just mop up the excess here. I uh, have electrical tape or vinyl tape going down the side. And so, oh, don't want to get paper towel on that joint. That won't be any good. All right, so got my thin super glue and I'm pretty much just gonna hose it. So I'm gonna open it up, dribble some glue in there and you can see it working right in. Um, you can also see it running down the edge of the tape. So once again, I'm gonna have quite a bit of it rolling down the edge of the tape there. Um, yep, puddling up over here too. That's okay. I'm gonna make sure it's getting down in there. Okay, looks good. Quite a bit of glue in there. And uh see if I can manage to do this without gluing my clamp down. So, oh, 